Today I'm going to share with you three fundamentals about riding and training and equitation in general. So let's get started. Hi there, my name is Laura and welcome to another video. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for coming. And if you'd like to win more ribbons at your next horse show, improve your riding and training, or generally like other horse related stuff, remember to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. So let's get started. Three fundamentals of riding, training, and equitation. Really simple, basic things that you have to keep in mind when you are talking with your horse, when you're putting that saddle on the horse, and when you're taking your horse out for a training session. Number one. Number one is riding is all about communication. Communicating with your horse. Your horse is your teammate, no matter what discipline you're doing. Pleasure riding, endurance riding, jumping, hunter, western reining, western pleasure, doesn't matter what you're doing with your horse, your horse is your teammate and you should be teaching and training your horse with respect. And if you respect your horse, your horse will respect you back too. Number two is be consistent and fair. Well, I guess that's two and three. Well, we get an extra bonus one, I guess, right? So by being consistent, that means that what you asked it yesterday and what you're asking today are going to be the same thing. So if you put your sit in the saddle today and you put your both legs around the horse's side and squeeze with your legs, you expect something. You probably expect your horse to move forward. So that's great. But if the next day you're adjusting your stirrup and you squeeze the horse's side because you're adjusting your stirrup and your horse moves away, that means that being consistent means, you know, it's okay for the horse to do that because he doesn't understand that, or she doesn't understand that you're adjusting your stirrup. All he can feel is that you're squeezing on its side, so it's going to move away from it. Don't get angry because the horse misinterprets something that yesterday you said was move forward. Today means you're adjusting your stirrup, you don't want it to move forward. So be consistent. If you're asking them to do something, squeezing with both legs together, today it means go forward, tomorrow it means go forward, a month from now it means go forward. Just because you're adjusting your stirrup, the horse doesn't understand that when you're adjusting your stirrup, it means something different. If you'd like to get some more horse training tips, take a look at these videos right here, where I outline more easy peasy horse training videos. It's a playlist that you can watch right now at your own time after you finish watching this video. You have to be clear so the horse is clear in what it is that you want and what it is that you are asking it to do. And easy peasy number three, reward often. And this reward, you know, it doesn't have to be an apple or a carrot or a food treat. It can be something as simple as a, like that. It can be a kind word or a simple pat on the neck so the horse knows that it's doing something nice and doing something well. What type of reward do you give your horse? Put it in the comments below. I'd like to hear about it. Usually once the horse knows what it is that you want, they'll kind of gear themselves to do that for you. They don't go out of their way to be ornery, usually. If you guide your horse towards a reward, if you guide your horse and give them a reward when they've done something properly, they will usually try to find a way back to get another reward. You'll seek out ways to try to figure out what it is that you want. And it's up to you to reward the horse in little increments so that they can achieve step-by-step -step process towards the goal that you are wanting. They continue to try to arrive at the place where they get a pat, where they get a reward, where they get a good girl, good boy. Horses are wonderful creatures and they try to please you and try to get to the place where they want that reward, where they get that reward. And it's up to us to guide them to that place because they continually seek out the place where they get that reward. My name is Laura, and if you'd like to 
win more ribbons at your next horse show, improve your riding and training, and generally like other horse-related stuff, remember to subscribe to this channel. Thanks now. Bye.